now let us discuss here about data object in javascript data object is mainly useful in order to perform operations on in order to perform operations on date and time uh, let us perform the various operations on the data object so let us see how to create a date where where let name of the date is current let name of the object is name of the variable is current where current is equal to we can create data object with the help of a constructor called date constructor okay now let us uh, uh, display the content of the current document dot write use header tag so that the content will be displayed in uh, uh, larger font sizes as well as bold style so plus close the header tag okay close the header tag now let us analyze the output let us analyze the output so friday may 12 2023 so 19 hours 2 minutes 53 seconds gmt here we have two types of uh, times are available first one is uh, local time what is the first one local time so local time means our system time whereas the second one is uh, universal coordinated time utc stands for universal universal coordinated time coordinated time or utc time can also be called as gmt gmt stands for greenwich mean time so greenwich mean time greenwich mean time greenwich mean time okay uh, here our local time is five and a half hours ahead of utc or gmt time so local time means our system time okay whereas universal coordinated time or gmt means some universal time standard time if you see here gmt plus five and a half hours india standard time so that means our local time is five and a half hours ahead of greenwich mean time so here our target is uh, we have to display we have to retrieve this uh, uh, day friday as well as month may as well as our this 12 is nothing but date as well as uh, year hours minutes seconds so let us retrieve all the things one by one so first let us retrieve uh, uh, friday friday control c control v uh, here in order to retrieve uh, here let us display the let us display some output uh, so here display day so day is day is plus current dot we have a method called get day method get day method get day method returns a number from 0 to 6 so 0 stands for sunday 1 stands for monday 2 uh, 2 stands for tuesday likewise uh, 6 stands for 6 stands for saturday so 6 means saturday so friday means 5 so friday means 5 so now we will get output as yes, day is 5 so what is day day is 5 now let us retrieve month here month what is the month here may is the month so control c let us display the month here month is month is in order to retrieve the month we have a method called get month method get month method also returns a number from 0 to 11 so 0 stands for january so 1 means february so 2 means march 3 means april 4 means may so this is may so we will get uh, month as 4 so month is 4 now let us retrieve this 12 so this 12 is nothing but date date so let us retrieve the date so date is date is so in order to retrieve the date we have a method called get a date method get a date method returns a number from 1 to 31 so here what is the date 12 is the date so we will get 12 as the output so date is 12 so date is 12 now let us display the year so in order to retrieve in order to display four digit year here we have a method called 
get full year so year is we have a method called get full year so in full f is upper case letter in year y is upper case letter so we will get output in four digit one so four digit word to 2023 next let us uh, display hours hours in order to display the hours we have a method called get hours get hours get hours get hours so let us display month hours so totally here 19 hours next likewise let us display minutes minutes so minutes is minutes is in order to display the minutes we have a method called get minutes get minutes let us display the uh, output so minutes is 7 minutes okay if we observe the time 7 minutes next let us display seconds in order to display the seconds we have a method called uh, get seconds method get seconds method get a seconds method get second method so seconds is 08 so we got output here 08 likewise we can display milliseconds also uh, we have a method called get milliseconds next let us display the time time so time is time is it displays the number of milliseconds between 1970 january 1 to current date and time current time why because data object was developed in 1970 1970 january 1 so get time method displays the number of milliseconds between 1970 john 1 and current date and time okay so let us see the output so this is the output so this is the number of milliseconds likewise use setter methods so till now we used getter methods now let us use setter methods so we can set the date also we can set date and time according to our requirement okay according to our requirement we can set date and time okay so let us set date and time so now we have to use setter methods so in place of get we need to use set okay we need to use set so same methods but in place of uh, get we need to use set so after setting uh, the corresponding data we need to display the output okay uh, so let us copy this information so that we will have some clarity so friday yeah let us copy this one so control c so let us display that uh, time in uh, comments yeah where current is equal to so current dot current dot uh, friday friday in order to uh, set the day we have a method called set day method first let us set month according to the month and date the corresponding day will be set so it is not necessary to use a set day method okay why because based upon the month and date uh, we will get the corresponding uh, day so current dot set month set month of uh, let, let 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 us set the month as uh, may so what is may month may month means four may month means four next uh, current dot so let us uh, use a uh, copy paste so current dot control c current dot set set now let us set date current dot set date of let us set the date as three three next uh, let us set uh, full year current dot set full year of let us set 2020 2020 next uh, uh, now let us set uh, hours set hours of uh, let us set uh, as some 11 hours 11 hours next let us set minutes so minutes of uh, let us set some 45 minutes 45 minutes next current dot set seconds of set seconds of let us set it as 54 now let us display the uh, entire information okay document dot document dot 
write ln document dot write off new date is new date is uh, let us use header tag so that uh, uh, content will be displayed in the bolder sizes new date is new date is available in which object so current plus close the header tag close the header tag next to close the corresponding right parenthesis okay h1 new date is plus current plus yeah now let us uh, see the out see the output so if you see here new date is sunday according to the month and date we will get the corresponding day so here what is the month 4 so 4 specifies that may next to date 3 next to year 2020 hours 11 hours minutes 45 minutes next to 54 seconds so in this way we can perform operations on date object in javascript